Hi guys, Bailey from Create Your Future here. I am a certified law of assumption coach and I am here to help you awaken your inner euphoria in order to get everything you want. We still have a super fun contest going on and the details are in the description box below, so be sure to check it out. Today guys, I'm gonna be discussing the time delay and how to view it in your favor versus the opposing. So first and foremost, we have to stop giving such a negative meaning to the time delay. If we had every single thought manifest instantly, we would be in some trouble. If you think about all of your worst fears manifesting instantly, life would be incredibly unfavorable. We wouldn't be able to enjoy anything because you could be on your dream date with your SP and then have a fear pop up in your mind and it play out as soon as you were thinking it. Because we have to remember, your subconscious does not know the difference between something good and something bad. Therefore, it's not gonna have a filter at all. So you guys really want to be grateful for the time lag and a sense of all your old programming and conditioning can be changed and you have time to get a clear, concise understanding of what it is that you want and be specific on how it's going to appear in your life. I feel like a big common misconception when manifesting something is we expect it to just plop right into our lap. You know, we think the second that we think of a text, it'll come exactly as we said it would in the exact second or... We could have one great interaction with someone and then the next we're getting hot and cold behavior, but this is the point of why we do what we do. We can't look at our manifestations as a robot or think that people are completely under our control. We are simply just guiding energy. This is something we are doing either consciously or unconsciously, but the bottom line is we are influencing all of this energy that is around us. That's why you're affirming this new story. You want to also take into consideration that being in the 3D realm, there are going to be time delays and it's 100% okay. <laughs> we often get so caught up in you know, our human mind that we are trying so hard to control the 3D and manipulate it that we are coming from a dominant story of lack and therefore we're prolonging what it is that we want even more because you absolutely have to have evidence to see this. You know, you have to learn to find the comfort in knowing it's gonna happen because we're so quick and so often do we freak out, you know, if they're not 100% conformed and then we're so engrossed in the story, it's not working or it's not here yet. You know, you're not looking at the 3D to confirm for you and tell you what it is that you're doing is working. It is your job solely to trust in the unseen and always assume in your favor. You already know that you're so powerful and that your thoughts create. So you have to keep the full trust in yourself as the creator that you know it's going to play out no matter what. Because the whole reason you're affirming or scripting or whatever technique you're doing is because you're changing your assumption of what it is you want. You already know that the current state you're in is because of unfavorable thinking and assumptions, guys. The story you're telling yourself of you know, who you are in regards to what you want is the only thing you are changing. You persist knowing that it's gonna happen no matter what the 3D is showing you. And once you fully understand that everyone is reflecting back to you your inner world, you will start to understand to not take anything personally. It's always just showing you how to become the version of yourself that has you know what they want you're going to create that validation and love within yourself and you're not going to find yourself constantly relying on outside sources to do that for you you want to look at your time delay and be really grateful for it in a way because if you had gotten your manifestation right when you wanted it when you had a bad concept of who you are and you're still seeking out someone else to fill all those voids within you probably would have created an even bigger mess and not have changed anything about the way that you see yourself. You know, you understand your power and you're gonna let go of the neediness for needing it right this second because you're focusing on you, living your best life, knowing it's coming at any moment and this is something you'll be able to hold on to. Your foundation is gonna be so solid, you're not gonna have anything be so triggering that you lose your manifestation. You're gonna have an even better experience at what you're wanting to pull in. You'll be able to you know, crack the code and know you're not changing anyone except for yourself. Nothing is separate from you, so you need to start trusting your own power and claim it. It's not your 3D creating your world for you, babe. It's your inner world being pushed out. Remember, you are the creator of your reality, not the reactor. So it doesn't mean that we can't have it. It just means we need to be more prepared for it when it does come. 
So the reason for why you could even be having a time delay in the first place is because you're so focused that it's not here yet. You're constantly asking, where is it? We still haven't talked. Look, they got their SP in a day and I haven't even gotten mine yet. So where is your focus at? Because I guarantee you it's on the fact that your 3D isn't showing it to you and because your awareness is so heavily focused on the lack of your reality, it doesn't even have time to shift or redirect in the favorable way of what it is that you want. So I want you guys to really understand that if you were in the mindset that you have this, you would have it. So it's okay because it just means that our thoughts are not focused on what it is that we want as something you know that we have or we're going to have. You are not yet the version of yourself that has what they want and it is okay. <laughs> it doesn't mean that you know it's not right around the corner or it's about to pop up at any second. It just means you're still working on that version of yourself and that way you'll know, you'll now know how to maintain it and how to apply it to other things in your life as well. Because things take preparation and time to learn. So for example, when I was wanting to become a teacher, I didn't learn how to become the best teacher I could be by getting thrown into a classroom full of kids with no help. That's why I had to go through school and why I had to do student teaching to learn the way that it works. I still had an unfolding process that had to occur for me. Yes, in that moment, I was a teacher. My thoughts were on point to be it. But when I began that journey, the version of me then wasn't ready to be a teacher. We just have to kind of understand that there's more to the path that we have chosen than we realize. Maybe the way to get there isn't even that long, but we keep having the mental battle of it's here, then it's not, and we just keep prolonging it for ourselves. But because we aren't focused on moving forward, we allow the negative thoughts to dictate more of where we are going or where we are that we aren't able to get it in the time we should have already gotten it. So if I was so caught up and I can't be a teacher, what if this just doesn't happen for me? What if I'm the worst teacher ever? Then I probably wouldn't have ever gotten to the point of becoming the best teacher because I was too caught up in the fear that I'm unable to push forward. You know, that's all you're doing when you're manifesting. You're learning how to become the best version of you. You're learning how to become the version of yourself that gets what you want and how to maintain it. So if you're waiting for your manifestation, turn that feeling into preparing and you're master the skill of becoming a conscious manifester that's good you're grateful for it because we're here to experience and you're learning how you work and how to maneuver in the best ways for you I already know some of you right now are probably like I'm ready for it right now I want this now I've been doing XYZ and I don't have it but if that were the case you'd have it and trust me I know where you're coming from in this because I've been there I think honestly majority of us have been there but the reality is if your thoughts were exactly where they should be your person would be right there with you or you'd have your manifestation and that's not to say you're not gonna have intrusive thoughts or that you'll be there 100% of the time all the time you know but it will become something so easy that when your thoughts aren't there you know how to control them and you know how to laugh them off because you're still going to get what it is that you want but just know this is not coming from a place of judgment and you don't want to carry that within yourself either this is always good to be aware of these thoughts and of this you know pattern of thinking so that we can move forward and get what it is that we want because embrace this period of waiting. There's always something enchanting happening. You know, this is how you grow into the best version of you. And this is where you want to get as much practice in and confidence built up that when it comes, you won't lose it. That's how I became the best teacher because I learned every lesson I needed to and I embraced the waiting period. I didn't try to brush it or force myself into the classroom. I still had things that, you know, I needed to learn and I enjoy the process because you might still have some limiting beliefs you need to tweak about yourself or anything you know you aren't actually addressing within yourself you might still need time for that so the second you decide to master yourself and learn the best version of yourself the sooner you're going to get your manifestation you have this knowledge now and it can't be taken away you can only grow from this experience so think about where you were when you started and where you are now You've already grown in so many ways, even if you don't have your manifestation yet, you are not the same person you were when you decided that that is what it is that you want, you know? You're becoming a master manifester. So I wanna go ahead and give you guys some just affirmations um, of accepting the time lag, you know, getting into a better mindset for your growth, you know, um, to be able to accelerate in this. Um, so I am getting closer to my manifestation every single time I assume in my favor. 
I am improving myself every single day. I am the version of myself that has what I want now. Magic is always unfolding. I am always doing everything right. Okay guys, because you're always growing, you're always improving, even if it doesn't feel like it, you are. So give yourself grace and really embrace the process because you're only moving forward and you're only growing closer to mastering, manifesting, and getting everything it is that you desire. So guys, if you found this video helpful, like and comment down below. If you want any help uncovering your blocks or getting your manifestation, feel free to book with me. Keep focusing on what it is that you guys do want and remember to give yourself grace and be grateful for the journey you are on. I intend this video was very helpful for you guys. Any of you in the time lag period or the waiting period, just know it's coming. It's right here. It's already done. Okay. So I also intend these affirmations work instantly for you guys and you receive your manifestations and more. Goodbye, love bugs, and I will see you next time.